Hello friends, now we are going to see the third approach to find the intersection of two linked lists. In my previous two videos, I have told you two approaches to find out the intersection of two linked lists. So let's begin with this approach. So this is the first linked list and this is the second linked list. So P is the head of the first linked list and Q is the head of the second linked list. Now in this approach we are going to use stack and we are going to follow these steps to find out the intersection. So let's see this first step. It says push the addresses in respective stacks. So this is the first linked list <coughs> and we will push all the addresses of this linked list into stack 1. So let's do it. <coughs> you can see 1000 is the first address and then 1002, 1004, 1006, 1008, 1010 and 1012. So let's start with 1000. We will push 1000 in this stack. Yes. Then 1002. And as you can see, there is a series of 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. So I will push all the all the addresses. So 1003, uh, sorry, 1004, then 1006, 1008, 1010 and 1012. So we have pushed all the addresses in the stack. Now let's push the addresses of linked list 2 in the stack. So this is the second linked list. So let us push the addresses. 2000 is the first address. So we'll push the address 2000 then 2002. This is the 2002 address. Then the address is 1008. So 1008 then 1010 and 1012. So we have pushed all the addresses of the second link list into stack 2. Now <coughs> the second step says pop and compare till we find intersection. So we have to pop addresses from the stacks and we have to compare the addresses. So how to do this? So there are these two steps A and B. So A is if equal. So if the popped addresses are equal from stack 1 and stack 2, then store them in temporary variable. Then we have to store that equal address in the temporary variable. So let's follow this. Yes. So first stack uh, we will pop 1012 from stack 1 and from stack to 1012 but these two addresses are equal so we have to pop these two addresses and we will store these address this address in a temporary variable because these two addresses were equal now let's pop the second 1010 1010 Yes, they are equal. So we will pop the address and we will store it in the temporary variable. Let's pop the third 1008 and 1008. As they are equal, we will delete it from here and we will store it in the temporary variable. 1008. Now, 1006 and 2002, they are not equal. 1006 is not equal to 2002. So now, the step B, if not equal, address in temporary variable is the intersection point. So as these two addresses are not equal, the address now which is present in temporary variable is your intersection point. Let's check it. 1008. 
yes this is the intersection point of the two linked lists so this is how we find out the intersection of two linked lists using stacks and pop method so the time complexity for this is o of m plus n so how it is because we have traversed this linked list whose length is m and this linked list whose length is n so we have traversed m length linked list and n length linked list and we have pushed the elements into the stack and then we have popped them so o of m plus n plus o of m plus n it uh, comes to highest limit of m plus n that is o of m plus n then the space complexity is o of m plus n obviously we have created two stacks of length m and n so the space complexity is o of m plus n yes so the, you can get the full code at github.com slash vivekanan44 so this is how we find out the intersection point in our another video we will discuss an another approach to find the intersection of two link lists thank you hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you